All right, we turn now to yet another twist in the Alec Murdoch murder case. So his attorneys are now asking for a new trial, claiming the clerk of the court tainted the jury against him, then wrote a book about the trial. ABC's Rena Roy has the story. A new development in a murder trial that gripped the nation. Attorneys for convicted killer Alec Murdoch claiming in a new court filing that his trial was tainted by bias, alleging a court clerk tried to sway the jury against Murdoch and his defense team. Well, the allegations are that the clerk of court went into the jury room prior to us presenting our case saying, don't be confused, don't be persuaded. When Alec Murdoch was testifying, don't believe him. Lawyers for Murdoch, who was found guilty of fatally shooting his wife Maggie and son Paul, accusing court clerk Rebecca Hill of engaging in extensive, deliberate, and self-interested jury tampering. They say they have a sworn affidavit from two jurors and interviews with others backing the claim. They're now demanding a new trial. That kind of intrusion into the sanctity of the jury room is an automatic new trial. Earlier this year, the jury took under three hours to return a guilty verdict, which Hill read aloud in court. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Murdoch's attorneys alleging Hill pressured the jury to reach a quick guilty verdict and that she invented a story about a Facebook post to remove a juror she believed might not vote guilty, all to secure for herself a book deal and media appearances that would not happen in the event of a mistrial. Hill recently publishing that book behind the doors of justice, The Murdoch Murders, discussing it with Fitz News. Just by observation, I knew that the verdict was already pretty sealed when we went to Moselle. Hill's co-author says she followed all of the guidelines. Becky will answer any of these allegations truthfully, point by point. Murdoch's lawyers say after her book's release this summer, they interviewed several jurors who expressed concern about Hill's behavior. Hill has not yet responded to the allegations. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.